so in this first step to creating a uh, installation of NetBSD onto a IBM Z50 Windows C device, we're going to be preparing uh, the Compact Flash card that we're going to be booting off of uh, on the Windows C device. And I'm just going to show really quick what a Compact Flash card looks like. It's a little square memory card. They're not very popular anymore unless you're maybe doing professional photography. But it looks like it, a mini um, PCMCIA card. And uh, you can get them at any electronic store still. I don't know for how much longer, but in multiple sizes, 1 gig, 2 gig, 4, 8, 16. I've even seen a few at uh, 32 megabytes. They're available at a multitude of electronic stores. Uh, Fry's Electronics here in California. Um, CompUSA, if there's any left, Office Depot, Staples, pretty much anywhere you can still find these cards. So the other thing we're going to be using to create this solution is just a Compact Flash uh, reader. And I have a very simple multi-card reader. Uh, pretty much any multi-card reader out there today should, for the most part, be able to read what's called Compact Flash Type 1 and Type 2. So we're just going to, uh, to put the Compact Flash card into the slot here. And it makes a little clicking sound to tell you that you've pushed it just far enough. And, uh, and that essentially is all we need to do to uh, get the card uh, ready to go in, in the reader. So the next step is what we have launched here on a regular laptop is an Ubuntu um, live um, installation. And that means that I went to Ubuntu.com and I downloaded the uh, CD ISO uh, file that contains the entire Ubuntu live operating system. And uh, it's real easy. You just put that CD into a drive of pretty much any modern computer and you boot from it. And if your system is able to boot from a CD, you'll be able to essentially uh, get into an operating system that actually I've decided to replace um, my Windows operating systems with Ubuntu because it's so flexible and it's a very, very nice option. Very graphical, has a lot of great applications, but we won't delve too much in Ubuntu. We'll be focusing on how to create this compact flash card for the IBM Z50. So the first thing to do is uh, we need to tell Ubuntu to download an application uh, that's really going to be downloaded so that we can avoid uh, making any mistakes with the command line operations of formatting this compact flash card. We're just going to take care of everything graphically. So that's kind of a nice feature, and as you probably already know, all the software in Ubuntu, for the most part, that I've seen is free. So we're going to locate that software really quick, and the way we're going to do that is we're going to go down to the bottom menu here where it says System, and we're going to, uh, we're going to look up, uh, let's see where this is, something that says in Administration, Synaptic Package Manager. And that's a real neat feature of Ubuntu because um, we're able to uh, we're able to find packages that are interesting to us and simply download them, install them with very little muss or fuss. Uh, really, the days are gone of having to compile software uh, with a modern uh, Debian Linux operating system such as Ubuntu. So we're going to look for partition there just type in partition and as you can see it's already found the first uh, one called partition manager so we would select select that uh, in this case it's already installed but I would hover over this one here which says mark for installation so you'd mark that for installation literally uh, just uh, just uh, uh, run the install process here uh, I guess this apply button right here uh, would be activated and apply would install the software very very quickly um, it would become available to the operating system and you would uh, even have an icon when that's done um, and uh, let's see I'm not I'm not seeing where that is right now here it is it installs under system tools KD partition manager so that was pretty easy literally I, I didn't actually click it here but literally it's one or two clicks we're talking about things that are so easy that that going to the command line is no longer an option 
So once we have KDE Partition Manager installed, we can go ahead and uh, plug in, and I'm going to just plug in my compact flashcard reader into, uh, it, it ends up in a USB um, cord here, so I'm going to plug in the USB into the laptop, and that's going to take a few seconds. It's going to try to mount whatever partitions or old things might be on that compact flashcard, which we really don't care about anymore. So I'm just going to close those windows that automatically mounted my compact flashcard. And what we're going to do is, um, just like uh, Windows Vista, for example, is a very, well, Windows would like to believe very secure operating system, uh, Microsoft would for that matter. Uh, Ubuntu is uh, for the most part a fairly secure operating system so we really can't do certain things in the OS unless we're logged in as root. So that's what we're going to do. We're, this is one of the things where you know there's a little bit of a command line so we're going to show you what that command is. We're going to go to accessories and terminal and we're just going to go to uh, launch partition manager uh, through the command line because if we launch it through the GUI um, it's really in read-only mode uh, for some reason maybe there's a different way to do this that somebody's aware of maybe holding down shift and clicking the icon I don't know but you, uh, immediately it wasn't apparent to me how to launch partition manager in in super user mode which is what we need to do here so what I'm going to do is just type the command sudo, which is, I guess, super user do, perhaps, uh, and I'm going to type in partition manager, and we're just going to hit enter. It's going to ask us for the super user password, whatever that is, and uh, this is going to try to boot partition manager, and it looks like it started the application very easily. Now, by the way, I have tried what I'm doing with Partition Magic in Windows, and Partition Magic in Windows, for some reason, does not see compact, my Compact Flash card. So that's why I'm doing it in Ubuntu, because this works out of the box, very little mess, very easy to use, and so here we are. So Partition Manager started, and we see here on the top left that it's found my hard disk as the first device, and a compact flash card because I'm recognizing the space on it. It's a very small compact flash card, but I recommend you use something that is maybe a gigabyte or larger for what we're going to do. But for this example, you can do the same thing with any compact flash card you have, and we're just going to select the compact flash card here. Now the first thing we're going to do, just for simplicity, um, is erase all the current partitions on this card because we want to start fresh and we want to show you how this is done. So you'll notice there's two little locks here uh, that where my mouse is hovering and we're just going to right click on those and we're going to go to unmount. Now when you change a drive like this in, in Linux you have to unmount the drive first. So we're going to unmount that drive and we're going to unmount the first uh, driver partition there. So the first thing we're going to do here is uh, we can just graphically click on the partitions like you can in Partition Magic if you've ever used that and we'll just click delete. We're just going to delete anything that's there on the drive and push forward. So the next step is I really like to apply every change um, just in case there's an error. So I'm just going to click apply. Not a big deal. And it's going to run those commands and it's pretty fast. We're changing a compact flash card so you know these things are relatively quick. So after I've done that I went ahead and just closed um, uh, Partition Manager. I want to start fresh with a fresh compact flash card that's been formatted so I'm just going to restart Partition Manager here and we're going to select that drive again. So I'm going to create new, select FAT16, size is 20, we're just going to complete the process of making that one partition for DOS and it looks that like that's okay and uh, now we're going to um, I like to close it just to start fresh start the as you can see it's very quick to start the application there's really not not a lot of waiting so that's why restarting it's not a big deal we're going to create the next partition again that ext2 click apply 